Ray Binkowski sitting in Fitworks Hybrid Training Gym in DeKalb, Illinois. Wanted to share one of the things that almost never, ever, ever gets talked about. And I had a conversation with somebody this morning and kind of jogged my memory. We were talking recipes and foods and meals. And I was sharing some of my trying, frustrating experiences when I was a fat boy fitting in my fat boy pants. Um, I'll share with you a little story. So back in like 99 or thereabout, I found a fat free cookbook and I was like Eureka I have the holy grail and by the way if you have questions post them live we'll answer them live Malachi if somebody throws up some hearts or somebody asks a question please read it uh, Malachi is filling in for Tim today um, anyways back to my story so I pick up this fat free cookbook and back then things were different we didn't have the internet we didn't have you know, the world at our fingertips, if you will, you actually had to have a local brick and mortar bookstore. And hopefully they had a section on health, wellness, weight loss, or sports. And maybe if you got really lucky, just maybe, there might be a book on fat-free recipes. At the time, fat-free was a big deal. Um, so I pick up a fat-free recipe book and I'm thinking I have the holy grail to fat loss. I bring it home, figure out I'm gonna look at the recipe book, after I've gone to the grocery store and I'm going to make some of these awesome fat-free things. Uh, so I went grocery shopping. I come home. I open the cookbook, look at the recipes, and they were loaded with all kinds of ingredients that no bachelor, most young married couples, most people that don't cook regularly, period, would never have in their house. Ingredients like stuff like you use one time for a specific dish, and that's it. And it was always a teaspoon of this, a dash of this, a tablespoon of this, all stuff that I, I didn't even know where in the grocery store you would find it. And I certainly didn't have it in my kitchen. So that fat free cookbook recipe book was a major failure. It was a major disappointment. Now, that being said, there's like a, a list of things that you should have in your house. Why we got questions this last week from clients. Hey, I'm getting bored with chicken or I'm getting sick of these meals. What can I do different? Well, one of the things that helps prevent that, one, you gotta be creative, okay? You gotta have an open mind, you gotta think out of the box. Check out eatbycolor.com, eatbycolor.com. Up at the top, there's a tab that says recipes and blog. There's a ton of recipes on there. Go grab the recipes, get on Pinterest. Our Eat By Color um, identity brand is on Pinterest. There's recipes there. Go grab, steal, some recipes. The other thing you need to do is you need to be plan planning in advance and prepared at home to have some things so that your meals don't get boring. So you don't get tired of the same old, same old with chicken or turkey or lean beef or whatever your fish may be or even your vegetables. And I literally raided my cabinet real, real quick this morning and I was running out the door to get here. Things you should have. I'd go get a thing of oregano. Crushed red pepper is great on salad chicken, beef, tacos, fajitas, pizza. Yes, I said pizza. Remember on Eat By Color, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle and we want you to have the occasional pizza, getting pizza at our house tonight. Ranch seasoning, this is crazy. You could do stuff with this. For example, mix it with plain Greek yogurt. Now you got a dip for your vegetables. So for those of you that are like, you know what? I like raw vegetables. If and only if I can dip them in ranch dip. Awesome. Here's a way to make a high protein, moderate, high, some of, whatever, the good bacteria that's good for your gut, use your plain Greek yogurt and use this. Make a dip, eat your vegetables. Two birds, one stone. Um, the other thing you can do is, we'll skip it around. One packet of this, one packet of this. You got like a cool ranch flavored taco meat. Go out on a limb, live on the edge, get super crazy. Use ground beef for your tacos. Use 99% lean ground turkey or take those culinary scissors, like I mentioned in our last video, use the scissors to cut thin slices of chicken breast and make chicken tacos, Cool Ranch style. Um, you wanna go out on another limb, half packet of this, half packet of that, some plain Greek yogurt, you gotta dip for your raw vegetables. Um, these should go in your cart, you should always have some stuff like this in the pantry, the cupboard, kitchen cabinet, whatever. Chicken tacos, I'm not sure why you can't just use this, but again, I had this in my cabinet. It should be in yours. 
stuff to do slow cookers like a stew buying lean meat using beef oh that's lean and your vegetables mix it throw it in the crock pot guess what go to work come home you got a hot meal waiting for you again if it's not in your cabinet and you've got the vegetables you got the beef you're not gonna be able to make it this is a fast easy one plus you can make your crock pot meals in advance. Combine all the ingredients, throw it in a freezer bag, throw it in the freezer. Then when the day comes to actually make it, pull the freezer bag out, throw the contents into your crock pot, set the crock pot, go to work, come home, you got a warm meal. Um, spices, you know, I grabbed the seasonal ones because we're shooting this in December and a lot of these were recently used when we were making pumpkin pie protein shakes, okay? So I've got pumpkin pie spice, ground nut nutmeg, Cinnamon works into that. This was something that was freaking awesome. I found it at the grocery store. We're in the Midwest. So when it comes harvest time, early fall, there's tons of corn on the cob or sweet corn. This was by the sweet corn. This is a great seasoning for corn on the cob. Last night we made corn out of a can with some butter. It's great on that. I've used it on chicken, a bunch of other stuff. Again, just get creative, think outside of the box. Little and no calories in this. It's not going to mess up your macros, your points, your calories, or anything else. Here's another one. I like lime season stuff. This is like a lime season with a little bit of heat. So it's kind of like a, a hot or a pepper seasoning along with a hint of lime. Again, great on chicken. Here's a decent combo right here. Ginger, soy sauce, add in a little bit of brown sugar. Yes, a little bit of brown sugar. Some butter. You can go get the calorie-free brown sugar. It's kind of made like Splenda or whatever. You can make a totally killer, killer topping for fish. Um, vinegar, I grabbed the white vinegar. Uh, normally I would go with a balsamic or something. We're actually gonna use this to clean something here at the club. So that's why that's here. That's what we use it for at home. Otherwise I prefer the uh, balsamic vinegars. Uh, cumin, ground red pepper. Again, you know, these are things Get the pepper, get the oregano. I'd get some basil, which I didn't bring. So I only had a box that was so big. Um, make sure you have soy sauce. Get the crushed red pepper flakes. Check out the aisle where these packets are at the grocery store. Pick up a pair of the different kinds. You know, things that are absent from the ones I brought in, only because I didn't see them in the cabinet, which means we're probably out. Chili packets or you can make your own chili seasoning. Again, if you have this stuff at home, all you gotta do is buy the same meat, same vegetables, and now you've got options to do different or a variety of meals with the same old, same old chicken. Now the chicken's not gonna be boring, and, and I haven't even gotten into um, like dry rubs and stuff like that. We've got something we call Sophranic seasoning, um, named after uh, my wife's family. They use it on pork chops. They have a huge pork chop dinner they do every year for uh, the Lions Club down in Paw, Paw Illinois. And I had them get me a container of the seasoning they use. It's awesome on chicken. It's awesome on pork. It's awesome on turkey. I've used it to make my own hamburgers. Again, by just having some of those things, it's going to set you up for success in the kitchen without getting boring with the same old, same old. Because again, there's only chicken, 99% lean ground turkey or turkey breasts or whatever. There's lean beef, and then there's fish. And at that point, you're pretty much out of options except for getting creative with your spices in the kitchen. Uh, again, check out eatbycolor.com, eatbycolor.com. There's a ton of recipes up there. Follow us on Instagram when I cook, which is a few nights a week. In all likelihood, there's going to be a picture and a recipe, or you're going to be able to tell by the picture what the heck I did. And that's hashtag eatbycolor. Find us on Twitter at eatbycolor. Um, Malachi, any comments, questions, or otherwise? I didn't see any comments. Nothing. So, Ray Binkowski sitting in hybrid training gym, Fitworks in DeKalb, Illinois. Author of the books, Eat by Color and Get Fit and Live Healthy.